They're closing down the textile mill across the railroad tracks. On and says the job boy. I'm Mary Ann Centeno from Oceanside, California, and I'm very happy to be here to um, tell you of my um, experience with Bruce Springsteen music. I've always been a, a music fan, music's always been a part of my life, but um, Bruce Springsteen music is just really, really, it really touched my heart, and um, I can feel the passion that he has in his music when he sings. So um, I just wanted to let you know a story that happened to me this summer and the Bruce Springsteen music. Back in April, um, I was so excited that we were going to be going to the Bruce Springsteen concert in Los Angeles. I was so, me and my husband, we, he got me tickets. It was my birthday month. We were going to go celebrate. The same week of the concert, I um, was diagnosed with breast cancer stage two. Um, wasn't quite sure what to do. We were, I was devastated, of course. Um, we didn't know if we were going to go to the concert, if, uh, what to do. But my husband encouraged me, and we did. He's, he's a very big Bruce Springsteen fan, too. Went to the concert and had a fantastic time. Those three hours in the concert took my mind off of the diagnosis. We were able to go and have a great time. From the first song when he came out and uh, sang Badlands, we were on our feet the whole entire time. We just had such a great time. I can't even, um, it, I can't even explain the feelings I had that, that night with his music and being able to kind of forget what was going on in our lives at that time. I had my um, operation in May and then started chemo in June. When I started uh, chemo, I started walking out here on the beach, on the pier, and um, it was hard. Chemo was hard. Even walking, just just doing a simple walk was hard. But what I did was I had my iPod and I put Bruce's music on, and it really helped me literally take a step and another step. And his music just helped um, me put that spring in my step, I guess is what I want to say. And, it was, um, it was something that I can't even, um, I can't even tell you how much that um, helped me get through every day of chemo. It was 18 weeks and um, it just, every day I'd start with waiting on a sunny day and then end with waiting on a sunny day. That song just, when he sang at the concert, I loved it and then it just helped me put a smile on my face and, and go walk. Um, the concerts were great, the music got me through my chemo, um, he was like, his music is like my therapy, I guess, got me through, it um, helped me to um, get motivated in the morning, you know, with each step and each song I'd play, and um, I walked for like an hour listening to his music, and it really, really helped, and it is like a therapy, like I said, and um, I truly, truly want to thank Bruce sharing that with us, his talent. Recently, a group of my friends gave me this key that says courage on it, because they thought I, they said that I was courageous to go through this whole battle fighting cancer. Um, but I can tell you that, um, of course, of course I was um, courageous, but I think that the support of my family, the support of my friends, and Bruce's music really helped me to become even more courageous in my family. I'm so thankful to have this opportunity to tell you my story and to let you know how um, Bruce has affected my life and touched my heart with his music. Um, I... So Bruce, thank you and I appreciate it and I have a whole new positive outlook on life, great future, thinking positive and keep on singing, writing, and producing your songs. Thank you.